Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you the strategy on what to do to figure out if she's not interested in you or is she just a bad texter? Because it happens when you get a match online and you get excited or maybe you got her number um, from a public place and you're excited to text. But then you start realizing after you start texting that she's giving you few word responses She's kind of slow in her response and she's not really asking you that many questions. So you start to think and most people start to jump ahead and already conclude she's just not interested. But the reality is half the time, she just may be a really bad texter, but she's potentially really great in person if you end up meeting her. And I see that in my line of work plenty of times. Many of my guys just jump ship very early because they believe, oh, she's just not interested. She's just here just to have a texting buddy. Um, but in reality, remember, not everybody has the same communication preference. Not even all you guys watching this, I bet, love texting. Right? I don't know how many of you feel like you love texting. That's your main way of communicating with people. Many people love phone calls. Many people love only using text to plan dates because your love language is quality time. Everyone is really different and many times I've seen ladies when they're slow in responding or when they're not asking a question, they're not intently staring at their phone thinking, ooh, I'm not gonna ask a question to this. No, most of the time they're just acting um, either on autopilot or just, just as it comes up, they're not intentionally thinking that, oh, I'm going to just not want to ask this question. Because many times either they're busy or this is honestly a reality too. If you like kind of the similar ladies that other guys like, this girl's pretty, she's cute, she's smart, she probably has a lot of chats going on. So she's responding to you, but she's just forgetting to take it a step further and asking a question, right? So we want to remember that not all ladies who are not responding in the way you want is simply not interested, right? So. What can you do when this happens? And how can you, one, stop this kind of texting? Because it's not fun, I'll tell you that, right? It's not fun to force yourself to go through this and wondering if it will go anywhere. Um, but instead of just ghosting and not responding and jumping to conclusions, there is something you can do to figure out if maybe she's just a bad texter, or maybe in person she's great. Because in reality, I assume that if this is online dating, you matched with her because she has a great profile or she's very attractive. And hey, it doesn't hurt to go on this date potentially if she says yes. And I will tell you, the majority of the time when my clients do this and they meet the, this lady that they're having trouble texting, when they meet them, on even on the phone, sometimes they'll call them on the phone, FaceTime or meeting a person, they end up being really great. You know, she actually ends up being very charming, very communicative, they have great conversations, they have a good date. So once again, texting communication is not what's really important. What's always important is the in-person communication and conversation. So what can you do? First, before we get into that, make sure that on your part of texting, you have followed my advice and strategies from my other videos about if she isn't asking you questions, what to do. You know, I already go over that in another video. I also go over, you know, how to keep the conversation going, how to allow her to be curious about you. So make sure you look over those other YouTube videos to make sure you are doing your part in creating this curious and interesting conversation. Now, if you feel like you're doing that, and once again, she's responding slow, few word answers or any of that, then do this. And this is similar to many of my other advices, so if you see a pattern, then this is true. Well, you just be direct and cut to the chase and go for the date. There's nothing to lose. Because if a woman is responding in that way, I bet you she actually prefers to just go straight to the date or FaceTime if she doesn't want to meet you in person yet because there's not enough shared information. I'm pretty sure she just has a lot going on. Yeah, she would rather see if there's chemistry there than this texting going on. So what I would suggest is after around two or three days of this and it hasn't changed, she's still responding the same way, then send a text. Send a text that simply states something along the lines of, you know, I feel that it's hard to get to know someone over text. 
It's always better to meet in person. Would you be open to having coffee sometime? Uh, you can direct it towards her if you want to be bold and you can say, it seems like it's been hard to connect and get to know you over text. Um, I would still want to connect with you more, but in person, would you be open to grabbing tea or happy hour um, at some time? That's it. So you, all you want to do is make sure you make a statement about that. Just saying like it's hard. Maybe you can even say, I'm not that great of a texter. You can put it on yourself and say, I, I think it's easier to see chemistry through in-person interaction. Would you be open to just grabbing coffee sometime? And that's that. If she disappears after that, let it go. Then that proves she's just texting to text. <laughs> but if she responds saying, I'm not sure, I don't know you enough yet, give the alternative of a FaceTime. If she, can't, if she doesn't like videos, not many people like videos, give the alternative of a phone call. If she then still says, oh, I don't know, maybe, be more direct. And you can say, okay, well, because it seems like with texting, it doesn't seem like it's been easy to get to know each other. I know you have, you seem really busy or you respond slow. This is, this is where you can be honest and say, like, I realize um, the answers that you've given me um, haven't been too much. And I don't feel like I want to bother you. So if you don't want to continue this, then we can let this go. Because if she's going to push back that much, and resist any sort of communication that's already alarming to me <laughs> that goes into the scammer list which i have another video on that all right but that's it that's all you gotta do send that text do not be afraid because you have nothing to lose you get your answer either way and that's all i want for you i don't want for you to agonize yourself over continuous text more and more days all right try that out and hey you'd be surprised at how many people are just bad at texting but hey if they go on a date with you and it's great, that's all that matters. All right, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you uh, in my next video.